it is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Uh, very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. Waft, don't sniff. I know that. <sighs> so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel, cinnamon, uh, black tea, each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents, <coughs> oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid, a common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofty, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome.
Oh, thank you. I know that wasn't an easy task. Ah, bug snacks are so often in the shape of unliving things, but 
Somehow these shells are just shells. They're also the only good source of calcium on this island. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm fighting osteoporosis. Ah, <sighs> anyway, I've centered my thoughts. I want to know for myself what bug snacks are, whether they're of the mother or not. I'm going to need that big old nasty flying bug snack. Please, bring it to the box of purity when you get the chance. <laughs>
này là
Chidorb, 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 chidorb. Edward, 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 Edward,
Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. <gasps> Floofty? Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. Yes, one wants to learn, not to receive long-winded insults. But, one must admit, when it comes to delving into the Forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the mother protect me. Ah, Shelda, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh, and you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal, or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid aura of utter evil from every pore. You are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. But one does not truly believe that you are evil. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I... Want to know the essence of bug snacks? What is it they're made of? If I can understand that, then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature or born from the darkness of her history. I'm not about to resolve your philosophical quandaries. There is no answer to the why of the universe. Bug snacks simply exist. However, since you've finally taken an interest in my studies, and just this once, I will educate you. I can show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denaturing is... I know what denaturing means. You do? I'm here to learn about bug snacks, not vocabulary. Ah, very well then. Our lesson should proceed smoothly. Step 1 of 17. Preparing an adequate formalin solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I sense this may take a while. Oh, that's nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do. Fantastic. All right, everybody. Team meeting. 
Thanks for meeting everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, ya? Yeah? Indeed. I must say I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you found in your studies, Professor. Oh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. <laughs> say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. Huh. And, Shilda, what did you find out about Mother Nature, eh? With some <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the mother. Yet, Toxins still, just as every fang dripping with venom, every flower glistening with poisonous sap. A reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken. And one believes that this was not the work of the Divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting. Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Shelba. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flufty. Things simply are. Using my words against me. Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan. I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh, please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's that happening now? Ha! Oh, you missed it, Triff Dog! Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They... they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, hmm, I, I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has never been uttered. Well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Well, there it is. Think you can do something about this debris? No problem, Triff Dog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? 
All right. I've got it out of the ball. Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will... Ow! What the grub is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... <laughs> You may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform Orbacular Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Woo! We finally got a way in! Nice teamwork, everybody. Problem solved. You are all very welcome. Oh, yeah! Big Strabby! Center yourself, Chandlo. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? Ooh, I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, let's poke around in these ruins. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized? Check this out! Whoa! Sprout got locked in there! Uh, now what? Hmm, there seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a chill from the snack wrapper to activate. did you all do? The disturbance is emanating from the sealed pit! Ready yourselves! A grave danger approaches! Bros, I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again! Oh, my God. 
Whew. All right. Let's check if everybody's okay. Phew. Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping. <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think, ages ago, something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Bortle come out of there. Ha! <laughs> If the Cheddar Bottle could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature, Or perhaps, the wrath of those sacrificed. Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Ah, uh, islands don't generally want things, Chandlo. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes, right, Shane. sounds good to me. Okay, so, do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Wonderful! And on the way, I'll regale you with stories about other temple collapses. I am skeptical of the idea that Krampus' sacrifice is the true catalyst for snack gigantification. However, this is infeasible and, yes, unethical to test at the moment. Regrettably, I must leave with more questions than answers. However, rest assured that I am by no means finished researching this island. It seems like the more we learn about Snacktooth's history, the grimmer it gets. But that's the dark side of archaeology. Civilization never collapses in a nice way. On the bright side, we might have just discovered the historical basis for the myth of Grumplantis. Grandma Lotta Blog would have loved to see this. Oof, I'm gonna need new bones after this. <clears throat> but one finally understands the mother's will. Broken Tooth is not a vision of the past, but of our future. And you better be ready for it. Oh, Grump. We've been gone so long. I'm gonna call Snorpy the second we get signal again. Partly because I miss him a lot, but also so he knows it's us. So he doesn't try to blow up the raft. Uh, you're in one piece. And I mean, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please. You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not! Trithony, what in the world did you find out there? Oh, gosh. That's a long story. I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? Yeah, uh, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure, I, uh, uh, one must meditate with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh. If you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpanati mind control? I don't know. 
We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that, Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, well, that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but, but I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I think it can wait. Let's just go home and chill, okay? Ah, ah well, well, I'm nothing if not chill. Thanks for everything, dog. We'll see you back at Snacksburg!
also a part-time barista. I was sent here by my organization to monitor this triangular relic. A position of honor, I was told. But I hold no illusions. This is a punishment. In my time isolated here, I have learned more than any snack light before me. With the secrets I have unlocked, the discovery of the three queens, I could rise to the upper echelons of the organization. Yes, I will be well rewarded. Ideally, with a weekly stipend. Or maybe even um, health care. Even not having to pay membership dues would be, you know, pretty good. This place is a temple of sorts. But even I don't understand its true purpose. The ones who built it are lost far beneath the ocean. The organization uses it as a break room. such a time that they can be brought under our control. Ah, we are not the Grumpinati. That's made-up movie nonsense. I mean, sometimes our actions are blamed on the Grumpinati. But we're a secret society. We can't just go around correcting everybody.
first queen was wrathful. When she awakened, she wreaked terrible vengeance on those who had sacrificed her to the bug snacks. The second queen was benevolent. Through her guidance, the bug snacks were pacified, and the Snack Tooth Empire flourished for centuries. But as all empires do, it grew beyond her control. The third queen will be one of ours. Hopefully, with her power, we will usher in an age of peace and prosperity. Ideally, before my student loans are due. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> I will be taking your recordings now. Oh, don't look so shocked. Surely you understand I can't let any of this become public knowledge. As for what happens to you, well, I believe the Snackalites could use someone with your investigative talents. And I, of course, could really use a recruitment bonus.
What's up, dog? 